This is Will. I love this guy. Look what he did to my Jeep. Oh my God. If you don't remember, he was alongside Leonardo DiCaprio on that Romeo and Juliet oh movie. Uh, doing, you know, theater acting. Or uh, this is me. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> That's how I feel. I, I feel now. Yeah. That explains why you have that painting of me without the clothes on. And I, I completely understand that was a redhead. So yeah, I get it. Yeah. Guys, okay. today, 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 we're gonna make oh. Mike yeah. work on this Jeep, which. You, you can't recognize the Jeep because he doesn't know how to put decals on, so you know who he is. Who is it? It's a potato farmer from Idaho. Will. Hey. Hey, well. Idaho is Idaho's more than just potatoes, people, okay? We have onions, we have carrots, and we have cows. So, I love hoof trimming videos. That I have That's an OnlyFans like hoof trimming account, so if you, oh, you want to see more. Perfect. OnlyFans hoof trimming. That's probably my next level since I'm running out of current videos. I can't wait to see this guy work on my Jeep yeah. because I literally have no idea what's going to happen. I feel like anything could happen at any moment. All right, what are we doing today? Uh, we are taking this 392 that looks quite sad right now because it's a little low to the ground and tires are a little small. So we're going to fix this. We're going to lift it up. We're going to put big tires on it. We're going to kick them out the door. Cool. Send them a bill in the mail. We're going to put a metal cloak suspension on it today. We're going to do something a little different. We're going to put metal cloak, which is great for his climate as well because they got that nice gold zinc coating so we could show off to the neighbors on how much money he has. Yes. Um, and it won't corrode and rust because of the zinc coating until you hit it a few times and wear it off. And then we're gonna throw a set of Falcon shocks on it because they're our go-to standard. There is no better shock for the money, period. Put a nice set of Mickey Thompson Baja Boss 37s on the factory beadlock capable wheels if you can afford those $500 rings for the outside. And these are one of the few wheels you are supposed to put a 12 and a half inch wide tire on because it's eight inches wide. Most factory wheels are seven and a half, and despite what the internet tells you, you shouldn't put a 12 and a half inch wide tire on it. Well, is that enough full information for you today? I think so, we're good. All right. what we're going to get rid of here obviously we're going to pull off these jeep rubicon shocks they don't do anything to help anybody uh, along with the coils they're all going we're going to make sure that we relocate the brake lines so we give it a little bit more slack all these basic bitch black control arms are going we're going to get rid of that obviously these gold parts aren't factory will's been busy in his garage making it harder to do an oil change <laughs> We're also going to change out this drive shaft. Metal cloak is nice enough to send a new drive shaft. We're going to throw that in. Nice thing about the 392 being all wheel drive, despite being a downside, you do get CV axle shafts. So at least you don't have as much binding when you're in four low off road. It's a nice thing about it. We're going to rip all this stuff out. We're going to add brackets accordingly, all the track bars, all the goodies. And then we're going to sit them back down on some big old fat tires so that he can make it through Starbucks without a problem. These are. Mickey Thompson, Ooh. Baja Boss ATs. Yes, that aggressive tire is an all-terrain. Not just an all-terrain, snowflake rated, which is great to go snow wheeling or ice or mountain highways, which I know Idaho has besides potatoes, but it's gonna help you. It's deep, it'll still go through mud fine. They balance decent. These have basically been one of our staple tires in the last couple of years, ever since they came out and won awards at SEMA. So 37, 12 and a half, 17. She a big bitch. What do you think about the weight of these versus like other tires? Like a Honestly, yeah. they're right around the same as most tires you'll see in this space. They're gonna be in the 80s. Um, I wouldn't get too hung up on how much a tire weighs unless I would care more about the load range. Um, Jeeps don't need an E-rated tire. So if you get an E-rated tire, sure, you can carry more weight. The vehicle can, tire can, um, and it'll be stiffer to drive just on the road in general, let alone flexing, it won't flex as much. So we always aim to get a D tire, 
or if you're lucky and get a C, but there's very few C's out there in a 37 or a 35. We're going to put on some gold bling. Gold bling? Yeah, gold bling. Yeah. This is not our normal Terraflex stuff. This is what Will uh, and Metal Cloak worked out. They were gonna do. You cannot mistake these parts. You know they're Metal Cloaks. You're not looking at this going, well, that's a Rubicon Express piece. <laughs> nope. Nope. So, between these arms and the IR arms from Terraflex are the only ones we'd ever run yeah. because they'll survive in Canada. Despite Will not living in Canada, his weather's shit down there too. We're gonna do rear drop brackets because they've sent these up. We are gonna add front Terraflex drop brackets because we believe they're very important to the handling and driving of a vehicle, especially an overland vehicle that is doing a lot of miles. We've got upgraded sway bar links, sway bar link drop brackets. We've got bump stops extensions. We've got front and rear coils, isolators, track bars, and of course, 392 specific Falcon 33 shocks. You will not find a better shock in that price point at all. These are specific for the 392 and the Eco Diesel. Uh, it's been shortened about an inch, so it clears the battery and a bunch of things in the engine compartment. Got our tried and true giant satisfying red knob with the detents, so you uh, don't have to sit there counting your turns like all the other silly shocks. Three year warranty, hard anodized coating. What more do you want? Might as well stick singles in it, it's so exciting. That was really good. Really good job, Mike. Thanks, <laughs> I really appreciate you telling me it was really good. Oh, yeah. Thanks, buddy. Good You're one. amazing. I'm, I appreciate you. I, I appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. So we're almost done with this. We're gonna drop it on the ground, just do some adjustments with the track bars, and then we can take it for a road test and center up the steering. So what we've done here is basically a full on, all the arms are switched over to metal cloak, the steering switched over to metal cloak, track bars, sway bar lengths, all that. And then we've matched it with our Falcon shocks because they just survive better out in the wild than all the other ones. We've added uh, our own few pieces that we add to a lot of things because Will, uh, being an overlander, he's gonna have to spend a lot of time on trails, on roads, and a lot of driving. So you want it to handle well, drive well, and everything. He's not hardcore rock crawling with this thing, so he won't really have to worry too much about a lot of things. So we added front drop brackets to it so that we can fix all the geometry in the front so the arms are a lot more parallel to the road. And then this also helps with the handling and going over bumps and alignment angles and all that other fun stuff. I uh, still recommend getting alignment after this when you do all the control arms, but make sure you go somewhere that's not just gonna center your steering wheel. You can't just trust any mechanic you go to. Ask questions. What's two plus two? Seven. He's a good one. Due to the extra flexi flexi, because all the metal cloak components, we've been had to add a front drive shaft up here so that we don't rip the Zeppa joint out and have him stranded on the trail. The only one thing you have to worry about is maintenance. You need to grease these on a regular basis. So, is, that a, is it a double carton joint? Way up here where you can't see. Yeah. Versus the Zeppa. Yes. So just to re remember, when you go to grease your drive shaft, you're gonna have to remove this, 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 and then grease it. Yeah. Just check it. Just so you know that it's gonna take, you know, an easy 15 minutes before you head out on the trip. Yeah, yeah, well said. You're very articulate. <laughs> <laughs> I was in theater. <laughs>
another i'd say another one bites the dust but it doesn't really make sense but another one's done a few hiccups that we were able to easily smooth out with a hammer and a welder cool. but uh i'd say he's finally ready to go pick up some groceries at costco it's got the clearance so you could run over at least one or two cyclists on the way you could fight for that parking spot run over someone's cart push that sectional sofa out of the way they're trying to put in their truck whatever but he's good to go we're basically rocking a three and a half inch lift here with a whole bunch of gold boutique goodies from metal cloak underneath we've got the gucci factor 55 on the front there so he can pull himself out when well let's be honest he's gonna pull his bronco friend out i'm sorry <laughs> He's also going out with a Toyota, so you pick your poison. <laughs> I, I'm a little bit pickier with my friends. Well, let's see how he's good to go. He's got the Baja Designs lights. He's got winch. He's got recovery gear. He's got a fridge. It's full of whiskey. Awesome. So he'll be able to stay warm. Thank you, guys. This was an incredible experience for me. So I brought my Jeep in already pretty awesome, and it's coming out like way more awesome beefy huge tires everything was top notch the guys worked through everything they kept me updated the whole time and it was really easy to come up here from the u.s get this work done and go back we're not going back we're gonna go do some wheeling first but and then go back it's really yeah. really simple yeah. and you got to use that uh, american money coupon that gets a huge discount <laughs> <That's> on all <laughs> the on the fees it's very nice right now that's pretty you know. good yeah and i think you can even apply to get your tax back Oh, here, yeah, there you go. It's crazy yeah. up here. We just give everything away and apologize in the process. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, just, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Too. I'm sorry. You Bring your mom. Sorry. I'm sorry, Ed. Sorry. Man, it just, uh, your, mo your wife says hi. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, I really am sorry. By all means, bring your Jeep up here. We'll gladly help you. And remember, pick your friends wisely because they might show up in a Tacoma one day. Looking for an epic Jeep or Ram? Give us a call.